Excel now has a dark mode. And I'm going to go through in this video how to turn that on and how to do dark mode for loads of other things, for example, charts and slices, and also how dark mode affects things like pivot tables and regular tables and also dialog boxes and everything else. My name is David and I'm, and I love talking about the new stuff in spreadsheets. And this is brand new for the monthly enterprise channel and the current channel of Microsoft 365. So let's get started. So brand new in Excel's view tab, you have switch mode over here. Although you might not see this, and I'll get to that a little bit later. But as you can see, what it's doing is it's kind of inverting a lot of colors, whereas white text on black then switches to black text on white. And these are interesting. This is conditional formatting going from one to five and six and it is switching that color like that. So I'm gonna go through all of the various ways in which it changes things and also how to get this because actually this disappears in many of the instances. So if you go to file and then account, here you're able to switch between black and white or colorful like that. And if you do that, this actually goes away. So you can only get this switch mode if you do go to the specifically the black theme. So here in black, you will now see switch modes like that. You can also get to it if you go to file and then options. And then if you go to this section, you can switch it from black, but even dark gray, which is a mode that I personally prefer for these things. This doesn't give me the switch modes button. So it's an interesting choice that they only put that in the black one. And you'll notice the co-pilot icon changes and some other things do change as well. But let's switch it to the black mode and explore that. So account and then here, black. Note that these don't make any difference really. You can have something like that. That will not really switch it very much here. But switch modes will change that. Now, a few things to address. Well, what happens to tables? So if I was to switch this and form as a table, these kind of look the same in the menu, but if I was to apply and click formatting, you can do that with a right click. This does actually put them in a different view to what you see up here. And banded rows, does various different things as well, banded columns like that. So it does look differently to how it is over there. Maybe that will change over time, but for now that is how it is. What about if you create a chart? Well, if I insert a chart from this, you'll see that the dialog box and the charts themselves are by default, not dark themed. If you wanna change a chart to dark themed, you can switch over here and this is one of the preset styles. You have more preset styles in chart design over here. A couple of them are dark mode-ish, but they're still not fully dark mode with fully black. You can, of course, amend that as you wish. So I could, if I want to go to format and switch this shape fill to be completely black, take off high contrast mode. There you go. So now it is completely black and you can switch these as you need to as well. What about slices? So you can have slices inside tables or pivot tables, more commonly used inside pivot tables, but even within here, you can enter a slicer and this comes out black or dark mode. The outside does not. So I'm going to choose movie and cinema. So we have them next to each other. They do not come out dark mode. They look like this. Now, if you do want to change this to a dark mode, you can right click on one of the slicer options and choose duplicate. And this is going to be dark and blue, I'm gonna call it. And then you can change certain things. So a whole slicer, I can format it and this could be, let's do it dark, but not black like this so that we do see a little bit of it. It doesn't change by default. You then have to click into the styles and choose the one that you want. So if we'd have made this completely black, then the text would be black as well. We wouldn't be able to see that. So you can modify it even more. Personally, I find this to be really tedious to modify, uh, but it is something that you can change. So I could change the this one to be white, for example, and I could change other aspects as well. 
for example, a whole slicer, now that that's white, could be made to be completely black, like this. There we go. So this kind of is that you could still switch these things up to make them a little bit darker, but you do have to do those manually a lot. What about dialog boxes? For example, analyze data. This one is kind of in the middle. The outside is black, but insides they are white, kind of linked to the charts, I guess. But this is how it's going to look. If I was to insert one of these, it would create the pivot table as black and this chart as white again, but we already saw how to fix that. So what about pivot tables in general? So if I was to insert a pivot table from this, you see these dialog boxes are still kind of very lightish and the pivot table itself, this is still white, but the rest is kind of pretty dark like that. And the pivot table itself does show up to be quite dark. In design, again, kind of like tables, you have it looking as if it's going to be light in the picker menu, but it is showing you as dark when you actually select it. Power Query looks like this. So the menus up here are light mode. There doesn't seem to be any way to switch that. The background is dark, but the table itself is light. So it's kind of in the middle. And most dialog boxes like data validation, these are kind of unchanged, which is a light gray forecast sheet. All of these are mostly unchanged subtotal. Uh, error messages are showing you like that. Side panes do vary. This one, as you can see, is light. Check performance is dark. So it might be that eventually they will get all of these to match up. But for now, it's kind of in the middle. The different views down here. These are all kind of dark mode, although page break preview shows in gray where you haven't got something selected, but as you type in new text, then the rest of it will show black like that with gray being in the other way. Compare that to like this, the gray essentially is unchanged from the same kind of color, which is kind of a middle gray, so that's probably okay. Yep, navigation pane is dark mode as well. Like I said, they've kind of changed some of these, but not all of them. Hopefully with time, they will eventually get to all of them. Your quick access toolbar will show in colors if it's below the ribbon, but if you right click and show above the ribbon, it will show in black and white, mostly apart from that fill color. A little bit the same as if you do it for colorful mode. So if I go to account and office theme to be colorful, so in colorful, it will show with no colors over here, but below the ribbon, it will show colors. If you use the white setting though, you'll see the colors in both sides. So this has been what I've been using recently. So I can conserve real estate and put this above the ribbon and still see the colors. I love my quick access toolbar. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that video. My name is David and I have tons of videos on Excel, PowerPoint, Google Sheets, Zoom, Teams. If you're using Tech of the Workplace, I'm covering on my channel. So check out my other videos for more information. Thanks for watching.